All right, we all know that the accolade is going to be complete trash, right? We know that. We all know that. We, we all accept that, right? Well, Daphne Keene, who is best known for her role in Logan as X-23, is going to be playing, I guess, a Jedi in the upcoming uh, show, Star Wars The Acolyte. And it seems like during an interview with EW, uh, she discussed the fact that they're pretty confident in what they're going to be doing with some lightsaber fights in this show. And, uh, well, Star Wars The Acolyte aims to top Darth Maul lightsaber fight. Now, look, I am a huge fan of the lightsaber battle in Episode 1. I do think it's one of the top three in the franchise. I am more... I like the Obi-Wan Anakin fight in Revenge of the Sith more, but that's a personal opinion. Some other people may think that the Darth Maul fight is the best. But, can they top it? Now, here's my big issue with this, because when you sit there and, and, and talk about lightsaber battles in Star Wars, especially in the Disney era, well, they've all been pretty lackluster to this point. A main reason is because they don't have this man, Nick Gillard, who was very, very big in the stunt coordination with the prequel trilogy and really made those lightsaber battles pop and come to life in those films. So what do they think they're going to be able to do? Well, during this interview, she was talked to, she was asked about, you know, the importance of the lightsaber fights and you know, basically it says, and if viewers are hoping the fights in the act like can match or exceed that epic confrontation from The Phantom Menace, they are not alone. It is a bar that the cast and crew talked openly and often about clearing. All right. That, that to me is a little concerning because while a good lightsaber battle is important to have, that should not be a major concern. If you have the right stunt coordinator, if you have the right people in charge to help create these moments, it's not going to be a worry. Especially if you build the right amount of of story around it. So therefore, it's more impactful than just people swinging light swords at each other. Okay? She goes, yeah, that was very frequent conversation we had. That's what Keen says, who plays alien Jedi Jekai Lon. Uh, it was very much we want to top the Darth Maul fight, the most iconic fight, I think, in the Star Wars cinematic universe. It's such an amazing fight, and we were all so excited about the saber fights. There's such a skill and craft to it that it feels so original Star Wars and feels so impressive when you see it as a viewer. So tell me why the, the fighting, the lightsaber fights in the sequel trilogy, in this modern era of Star Wars, has sucked so much. Because nobody's really cared about it. Now, does that mean that they're going to do a good job on the Acolyte? Hopefully so. I hope they do a good job with the Acolyte and, and do a good job in lightsaber fights. But then again, we know the movie, or the, I'm sorry, the show is going to be complete garbage. It's going to be garbage. We see what they're marked. They, they, up until this recent two weeks, they've only been marketing this, this show it's anything but a Star Wars show. It's all been about woman empowerment. Women in Star Wars. Finally. Oh, look, we got a trans character in Star Wars. We got a gay character in Star Wars. That's all they've been promoting up until this point. So I'm sorry if I'm not very confident that this show is going to be any good when they're not even talking about the show. It's nice to see over the last couple weeks that they have started talking about the show, but my confidence is still very low because... Honestly, you take a look at something like this, like I said, the lightsaber battles, the fights over the last 10 years have been complete and utter garbage. And I don't think it's going to get any better with this show. Especially because they don't have this guy doing things. And I don't, it doesn't need to be Nick Gillard, but somebody like him. Somebody like him who can truly bring to life a lightsaber battle but again a lightsaber fight is only as good as the story around it you take a look at return of the jedi which i think luke versus vader in that in that movie is one of the best lightsaber fights and it's not a flashy fight but there's so much emotion there's so much heart there's so much weighing on that fight that's what makes it so good you take a look at battle of heroes and revenge of the sith again 
everything has led to that moment, so much weight to that fight. The Darth Maul fight even, while it's flashy, it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of weight to it. Especially because it's the first time they're seeing a Sith Lord. It's the first time that these two are fighting a Sith Lord and one of them dies. As you take a look, all of this is what makes a good lightsaber fight. And they haven't been able to do that in 10 years. So why should I feel confident that they're going to be able to do it in the Acolyte? Which, again, is going to be a trash show. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. I want to know what you think about all this. Do you think the Acolyte is going to be a good show? Do you think that they uh, are just kind of fooling themselves for thinking that it's going to be a good show? Do you think they're going to be able to pull it off and have some good lightsaber fights in this show? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, with that, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I will catch you all later.